Yes, How are you doing? Yeah, no, I was just wondering, I've got a challenge. It's a brave one. I'm going home, sorry. <laughs> People shook. Oh, for me. Hi guys, welcome to this new challenge that we're about to do. And the challenge is to pray for a stranger every single day for a week. Um, nothing specific, just ask them, hey, could I pray for you for something? And if they tell you what, then you pray for that or not, you just say a generic prayer. So that's what I'm going to do. And I guess why I'm doing that, I was actually inspired by, I've been watching these dudes, Bobby, Simon and London Hacks, and they do these challenges like um, homeless in London, um, turn one pound into a thousand and all these different things. And I just loved it, the energy they had, and it was great. So I was watching it with my wife, and then I just felt like God was saying, why don't you do a challenge of praying for someone every day? And obviously, this is what it is. So I thought, you know what, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So that's kind of where the inspiration come from. So I'm looking forward to this challenge. Um, I'm nervous, I'm excited, but yeah, let's go. So it's been two hours since I've been at work, two hours since I've said I'm gonna go and pray for someone, that one person every day. A strange person, straight no, a stranger, not a strange person, a stranger, and I haven't done anything. So we could say procrastination is winning at the moment, but it won't win. I've got an hour and a half until I need to be somewhere, so there's plenty of time. And let's hope procrastination doesn't win this next hour and a half. So let's see. Peace. I've decided what I'm going to say is, hey, sorry to stop you. I know this is random. But I've got this challenge where I've got to pray for one random person that I don't know every day. Do you mind if I prayed for you? And whether they accept or reject, we'll be carrying on from that. Let's see how it goes. I've just walked into a park to thought I'd find some people. Not one person in sight. But I've got a feeling someone's going to come through here soon, so hopefully they do. I'm going to find them, talk to them. That'll be my first stranger of the day. <laughs> and I got shook, got nervous. She's with her two dogs. Well, she's still in the park with me. She's over there, look. I just walked past and said hello. I didn't quite ask her. I think I'm gonna pray quickly, get some courage, go over there and just say what you've already heard me say. Pray for me, guys. <laughs> shook. <laughs> nice. What, what breed are these dogs? Uh, she's half Pomeranian, half Chihuahua, and he's a teacup Chihuahua. Are they friendly? Yeah, yeah, they're very friendly. <laughs> Hello. How old? Is shy. it a boy or a girl? He's a, a boy. boy. How old? That's a girl. Uh, he's uh, ten months. No, eleven months, and she's a year. Oh, nice. Yeah. They're liking their jackets in this weather. They have to put the jackets on. It's freezing. So cool. <laughs> That's got to right. Are you now. from around here? Yeah. Why? I can, uh, I'm just working the centre. Just, just coming out to see what's going on out here. Which, which centre? The Paget Christian Centre there. Oh, the church? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, right, yeah, okay. So we sent her during the week. Oh, we okay. We found some friends, look. What is that? Oh, it's Rocco. It's not a scary dog. No, 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 it's a, it's a French bulldog. I'm going to have to go over there because my teacup's going to go underneath the crumb. As you could probably tell, <laughs> I managed to talk to her. But yeah, the conversation, I was, I was, it was heading the right way and then a dog sprinted off to chase another dog. She said she had to go. So I didn't quite get to ask her if I could pray for her, but... Yeah, that was helpful for me and my confidence slash fear, whatever it may be, or rustiness. But yeah, hopefully I'm going to find the next person. And that time I'll go more in for the jugular. <laughs> Hello, mate. You okay? Yeah. I know this is very random, but I've got a challenge every day to pray for someone I don't know. I'm going to have to pray for you. But, uh, you know, I'm not really, really hurried for this broadcast. Oh, okay. Thank you. Right. There's a guy walking behind me. I'm going to go and talk to him, see how it goes. <laughs> hey, sir, are you okay? Hello, sir, you alright? You got a Are you okay? Yes. How are you doing? Yeah, no, I was just wondering, I've got a challenge. Oh, to break. I'm doing home, sorry. People shook off oh, me, innocent me. Oh man, I'm gonna pray for this. 
I think I'm gonna go and pray for this coach driver, dude. We'll see. Generic. I want to say Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord Heavenly Father, just thank you for Sean's life. Thank you that you let me pray for him. Just pray, Lord, that you will keep him safe as he takes people to and fro in his job. Pray you protect him. Pray you so that nothing happens to the coach or anything on the road. Just pray that he um, continues to help him as he does his job well. Just pray you will bless him in his life. If there's, if there's any areas in his life that he, um, that he needs you in, Lord, I pray, Lord, God, that you will really um, talk to him and, and help him in that, Lord. Thank you that you love him on the issue. Thank you that you know him. You know him. The bless him. Bless the rest of his day. Bless his family, Lord. Pray that you will be with this Jesus' name. Thank you, Sean. Nice to meet you, man. Take care, yeah? Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was nerve-wracking. Oh, my days. So, yeah, just met Sean, the coach driver. I got to pray for him. And my prayer was actually hilarious. Because I think I was so nervous. Yeah, I just... I mean, bits of the prayer were a bit... Uh, yeah, it was funny. Let's just say that. But yeah, it's good to get the ball rolling. I feel like pumped. I don't know if any of you guys ever prayed for someone or spoke to someone about your faith before. So once you do the first one, and then the, then the ball just starts rolling. That's what they say. The first one is always the hardest. So yeah, it was a pleasure to pray for Sean. Yeah, praise God for that. And him, that man was very nice, very warm, very welcoming, happy for me to pray for him. I asked him if he wanted a specific prayer or just generic. And yeah, he offered for generic prayer. So that's what he got. Big up, Sean. That was the end of day one. Prayed for Shane. Great guy. I'm going to go again tomorrow. Look forward to seeing what day two brings. And yeah, if you like it, I challenge you to do the same thing. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you, if you did get down to doing it. So peace.